Jack McBean was the LA Galaxy's youngest ever signing at 16 years old. And in his first league game in 2011, he also became the youngest player in the history of the club to ever score a goal. His constant hard work, sacrifice, and determination has played a very clear role in getting him on this field and will be key as he fights for a starting position among the Galaxy greats. Jack McBean's a player that we signed when he was 16 years old, and he's such a big, strong kid that people forget that he's just 18 years old. I remember Chris Klein coming over to my house one night and proposing the idea, and it was kind of, it was crazy to me. First thing I remember that was different, just the intensity. The guys are all competitive, and, and there's competition at every spot. In training every day, guys want to win. If their team doesn't win and they have a bad day of training, it ruins their day. Hey, He's had a lot to process at such a young age. I left high school when I was a sophomore. I mean, that was hard. From seeing my best friends every day and, and hanging out with them to coming to this team with all these older guys that I don't, I don't know any of them. Kind of traveling with the team this whole year, I've got to know pretty much all the guys a lot better. I think the most important thing for, for a lot of these kids coming out, especially for Jack at such a young age, is having the understanding that it all doesn't have to happen right away. He's a young player who's known his place. You know, it, our job is to move him along. Just about every Sounders player available is in that wall. Janino! When you're sitting on the bench watching, watching the guys play, you want to see what they're doing right, see what they're doing wrong, um, and, and kind of mimic the things that they do right. You get something into the game, and you want to show the coaches that you're going to make an impact, but you don't want to force things. You want to step in and have the team not miss a beat. Once I signed, you know, I watched what I was eating a little bit more, and living with Pablo, you know, he makes meals that are, are healthy and, and that fuel the body. I'm starting to understand that that's, that's what you need to do, because what you, what you put into your body, you get out, and the better stuff you put in, the longer it's gonna last, and the better you're gonna perform. One example is whenever I play 90 minutes, my calves usually cramp up at the end of games. One of the challenges is that these guys are sweating at, at really high sweat rates because the, the intensity of soccer is so high. They're sweating close to a liter and a half, two liters per hour, so hydration is really essential for performance. In this last game, I uh, just hydrated a lot before and had a bunch of those electrolyte packets and a couple bananas and stuff like that. Didn't have one sign of cramping during the game. Little things, but it made a big difference. We already know Jack's gonna be a very good MLS player. We want him to go beyond that. And that's the biggest thing, is to continue to move forward. How can he continue to add pieces to his game? To me, I think it's on myself. You know, if I, I know I make when I make good plays and bad plays, and I think confidence is, is one of my biggest uh, assets or issues at some times as well. If I'm not feeling confident, then you kind of psych yourself out. When you make a bad play, the only thing you can do better is, is to move on to the next play. I think I just got to get in better form and, and start scoring some goals. Simple as that, yeah. We never thought that, that Jack McBean would, would lead our team in goals during the, the Champions League uh, last year still young, he's got a lot of potential. If we're able to continue to create an environment that'll allow him to move forward, he's gonna be a player that's gonna challenge to be a regular for our team. When you're having a bad day, you can't just, you can't quit, you can't miss a day because I mean, it's a job. You have to have your priorities set before embarking on something like this, and this is what I wanna do for 20 plus years. I'm happy with, with my decision. It's still a game, and, and a game that you, you love to play.